this video I'm going to explain entropy as defined by microstates. In the previous video, I explained that there are two different definitions for entropy, one including microstates and one including heat change. So in this video, I'll just focus on the one that involves the microstates. The first thing to note is that entropy is proportional to the number of microstates, meaning that more microstates define a larger entropy. But what exactly is a microstate? So a microstate is the number of ways system components can be arranged without changing its energy. So basically the way a system can be changed without involving a change in that energy. The formula for that is the following. S is equal to KB times the ln of W. So the natural logarithm of W. And S stands for entropy right here. KB is our constant, and that's the Boltzmann constant, giving the name for this formula called the Boltzmann equation. And that would be equal to 1.38 times 10 to the negative 23 joules over Kelvin. So that's a number to note. And finally, W is just the number of microstates. To calculate W, of course, you have to consider the number of microstates, but you have to multiply that times the number of particles. So I'm going to say that the number of microstates is going to be x, so let's say 2 or whatever. And that is going to be to the power of the number of particles. Which is a constant, and we know it's equal to 6.022 times 10 to the 23 particles. So we're, all we're really looking for in this equation is this x. That is what is going to change. So right here in this problem, we have a gas in a valve. And in this portion of the valve, the gas is present, but there is something closing it, making it impossible for the gas to pass to the other half of the valve. So in this case, the gas is neon, and we have one mole right here. And just on the right side, there would be nothing. Now, the question for this is, how would that affect the entropy if the valve is open so that the gas can disperse all around the object? So note that it's asking for the change in entropy, not the final entropy. So that would be the final entropy, delta S would be S final minus S initial. And we can just write the formula for each. So delta S would be S final, and we can change that into the Boltzmann equation. So that would just be the end for, for all of the entropy. So it will be KB, that remains the same, times the LN when the number of, of microstates is at the end, so it's final. So W final. That will be the same, but the number of microstates would change to initial. So what's really changing is the number of microstates in the system. The constants remain the same. And that's what you need to take into consideration. So we can make this a little bit easier by just taking KB, writing a parenthesis. We have the LN of W final minus the LN of W initial. So right now, all we have to do is figure out what the W final is and what the W initial is. So a little trick is to just consider W initial as it is, just leave it as it is, and just find out what the W final is. So we know we start with one microstate because there's only one way that gas can pass, and that's like right here. So there's only one, one section. But when we open this valve, we would neglect this right here, and the gas could pass here, so there would be two microstates. Meaning W final 
would be equal to because we have two microstates that's our x in the equation that I gave you before so that's 2 to the power of the number of particles 6.022 times 10 to the 23 times w initial because that has to be considered and that's really the trick so you'll see how this will el eliminate each other so let's see how this works out let's plug in everything on the equation we have our KB outside of the parenthesis, so we can just forget about that for now. Now we have LN of W final. That will be what I wrote right here. So that will be 2 to the power 6.022 and 10 to the 23 times W initial. And then that's minus ln of the real initial so what's key right now is understanding how logarithms work if you know the functions and and how you can subtract those and simplify it this th this problem can be really easy so let's do that i'll just transfer all of this information to the next page so this is what we have now, how can we simplify this? And that's right here. When you have a power to the logarithm, you can bring that down. And when you have a multiplication inside the logarithm, so I'm just going to write a parenthesis right here, just denoting that it involves all of it, you can make that two different things by adding a plus sign in between. So that would look like this we bring the power down to multiply times the logarithm or we'll have 6.022 times 10 to the 23 times the logarithm of 2 because this is the number we have right here that's plus the lo the natural logarithm these are all natural logarithms of W initial. And when we consider this section right here, that's minus the natural logarithm of the W of the W initial. So as you can see, as I said before, we can subtract both of this and eliminate them. So that's why I left it as W initial at the beginning. So this two go and then we'll just have the delta S is K B times 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd times the natural logarithm of 2. This right here is 1.38 times 10 to the negative 23 joules over Kelvin. And after multiplying all of this together, we'll get that delta S is going to be 5.76 and the units are joules per mole kelvin how we get those units well we have joules over kelvin right here and this right here is in particles per mole so we can just neglect particles and just consider it one so it will be joule over mole kelvin. That's the change in entropy. So these problems can be a little tricky and they need a little some tricks on logarithms that can help you make it really simple. But they all involve the same concept of entropy and microstates. So that's it. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked it and found it useful. And if you did, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe to see more videos like this one.